Welcome back. Bill O'Leary with Legacy Planning Law Group joins me now. And so important to be able to talk to an attorney and get your end of your life plan in place. Make sure you have your estate cared for, your family's cared for, and that's your specialty, Bill. Yes, it is. All right. Tell us a little bit about estate planning. You know, that's a great question, Karen, because a lot of people don't really understand what estate planning is. And we can talk about things like wills, trusts, and estates, but it sort of sounds like legalese. Mm -hmm. So to simplify it, uh, we could say that it involves uh, four things where you can determine and control who you want to get your stuff, what they get, when they get it, and perhaps as important as the first three, how they get it. At its core, that's what you're doing. Yeah, there are other parts to good estate planning, but at its core, that's what you're doing mm -hmm. for somebody. Mm -hmm. Okay. And sometimes I'm asked the question, well, gee, what do you do for a living? Well, what I don't say is I'm an estate planning lawyer because people's eyes glaze over. <laughs> Instead, I say I help people plan uh -huh. so that when they pass away, their kids don't fight over their stuff. Mm -hmm. people, people understand that. And let me also tell you what estate planning is not. This is very important. Okay. Uh, it's not putting pen to paper or now fingers to keyboard and generating documents. That's a means to an end. That's the end result of the process, but that is not the goal. The goal is much larger. It is allowing someone to create a personal legacy. And by the way, not just rich people have legacy. Everybody's got a story to tell and pass on in a way that promotes family harmony. So picture this, that first Thanksgiving dinner, family gathered around, there's an empty chair at the table that's yours. What do you want your family talking about? Sharing nice memories about you or fighting over your stuff? Mm -hmm. Good planning can prevent that. Yeah, because then it's already planned out. It's already under control. That's right. Yeah, and it's hard dealing with those things, too, as you're going through grief, I'm, I'm sure, for, for family members. Much better to do it in advance so you can think clearly about these things. Mm -hmm. What would a normal estate plan include, as we are hearing this, to be thinking ahead? Yeah. Well, it includes a number of things, but sort of the core element is one of two things, either a last will and testament or... Uh, what's called a living trust. Both of them do the same four core things I just talked about, who gets your stuff, what they get, when, and how, but they do it in a little different way. So if I have somebody that is very concerned about making sure that things go as smoothly and easily and quickly and inexpensively for their family as possible, mm -hmm. then a living trust is typically the best solution for them. You've you know Susie Orman, she's a, mm -hmm. a, a financial commentator on Cuba. She likes to call it a loving trust Instead because of a it's a, trust. <laughs> you good. express love to your family to uh -huh. make things as easy and inexpensive and quick uh, as possible uh, for your family. There are uh, other things that are part of an estate plan. It's a durable power, but what would happen if you became incapacitated? Who would make financial decisions for you? Well, through a power of attorney, you can appoint someone. If not, your family is bogged down in the court system or appointing someone to make health care decisions. Mm -hmm. So there are other parts to an estate plan, but those are the core elements. I see. And what is elder law? Because that's one of your areas um, of expertise. That's another great question. And it's interesting. If you were to ask most people, in fact, if you ask most lawyers, they could not tell you what elder law is. So what is elder law? Again, to put things in plain English, mm -hmm. it's helping people plan mm -hmm. to protect their assets from the cost of long-term care. Excellent. All right. Now, I want to get to the video because I think this is a, a very self-explanatory about everything you do. Mm -hmm. Let's take a listen. We dedicate our practice to the areas of estate planning and probate and elder planning. Nursing home care can be quite expensive. In Florida, the average rate is over $8,000 a month. With our long-term care planning, you have a choice. Do you want your legacy to go to the nursing home and to the state of Florida, or do you want to preserve it for your family? There's a good reason the state of Florida requires an attorney to probate an estate, which is to make sure it gets done right. Among the biggest horror story I see are people who try to do this on their own by going online, and then their will ends up not working. Their family fights, the state steps in and tells them where their property is going, and nobody is happy at the end, all just to save a few bucks. We're so fortunate to have Jennifer Singh, my attorney, confident, and colleague. Jennifer is an excellent lawyer, but even more importantly, she's very warm and makes incredible connections with our clients. 
And it helps that Jennifer and I have the absolute best, most efficient office staff anywhere in Northeast Florida. Our clients constantly rave over Jeanette, who you'll see when you walk in the door. One thing we're really proud of in our practice is that about 80 to 90 percent of our clients come from word of mouth. And that's because, frankly, we're pretty good at what we do. And that is so true. We know when, when, when somebody is good and it spreads by word of mouth, it's almost like testimonials. Everybody believes and has seen it and is, is proof of, of your fantastic work. Bill O'Leary, thank you so much. Thank you. You bet.